The neighbors have been setting off fireworks all day, annoying you and scaring your cat half to death. The doorbell rings and you answer it, just as another BANG occurs. Your cat streaks between the feet of your guest and is gone, disappearing down the street. You wait for your pet to come home, but she doesn't. You put ads on Craigslist, visit animal control in the different shelters, but you can't find her. You put up lost cat signs all over your neighborhood, but your chances of finding your lost cat are very low unless you take action before she gets out. Today we're going to discuss the advantages of microchipping pets. According to the Anne Arundel County Animal Control, 10,000 pets are brought into the shelter each year after running at large. Nationally, that number is in the millions, according to the American Humane Association. Many owners feel their pets won't stray because they're indoor pets, but indoor pets escape every day. Animals that are not spayed or neutered are at a very high risk of straying, according to Dr. Gray, a veterinarian at Muddy Creek Animal Hospital in Galesville, Maryland. Animals frightened by thunder or fireworks are also very likely to get you loose. According to Clara Benn, animal behaviorist, London, England, these lost and frightened pets are unlikely to find their own way home again. According to the American Humane S Association, only 15% of dogs and a mere 2% of cats that do not have tags or microchips reunite with their owners when lost. The Seattle Post Intelligencer states that 52% of current cat owners polled own a cat that showed up as, at their door as a stray. 43% said their cats came from a shelter. This means that the majority of pet cats are cats that another person or family lost. Cats are notorious for wiggling out of their collars and losing their identifications. Dogs also often slip their collars or chew through them, leaving them with no identification. As a result, shelters, animal controls, and vets are unable to identify missing pets when presented with them. It is apparent that lost and missing pets are a serious problem. Even when pets are found, they have a low statistical probability of finding their owners. But microchipping can provide a solution to this heartbreaking predicament. We can dramatically increase the odds of all pets coming back home with a simple and inexpensive microchip procedure. According to Anne Arundel County Animal Control, the best chance you have of being re reunited with your pet is if your pet is microchipped. Avid states that the chip itself is very tiny, small enough to be inserted with a hypodermic needle. Avid says that more than 50,000 scanners have been distributed to places like animal hospitals and shelters. Stray pets are scanned for microchips and reunited with their owners. However, Anne Arundel, Anne Arundel <coughs> County Animal Control states that pets come in every week and are scanned only to discover that the information associated with the chip is out of date. You must update your address and phone number if they change. The last time I was at the shelter there were two dogs with chips that led to bad addresses and phone numbers. There is no way to reunite these lost dogs with their owners. Avid states that all pets, even reptiles and fish, can be microchipped. Microchipping can also help you prove ownership of your pet in the event of its theft. I've shown you some facts and figures that support microchipping your pet. I hope that you will help make your pet safer by microchipping. Imagine that you get a call from a vet saying that they have your cat in the office brought in by a good Samaritan. Imagine the happiness that you and your family feel as you are, you are reunited with your beloved kitty. The next time the neighbors are setting off fireworks, you can be a little more comfortable knowing if your pet does get out again, you'll have a much higher chance of having her return to you. Microchipping might sound expensive or painful, but I will now explain how it is not either one. Many area vets charge about $40 for microchipping, a procedure that should last for the life of your pet. Anne Arundel County Animal Control offers the procedure once a month for a discount rate of $20, and you can get your pet a rabies shot for another $5 while you're there. Registration or address change with the microchipping company costs around another $20. Animal Control warns that you should not leave the tag with the microchip number on your pet's collar. Anyone who has that number can change the address, making it look like your pet is their pet. Do leave the tag with the telephone number of the company on your pet so anyone finding your pet can call and track you down. The actual procedure is quick, painless, and easy, according to Dr. Gray. 
it requires only the use of a hypodermic needle, a syringe, and the chip is inserted under the skin of the animal. The animal does not feel it. It doesn't it doesn't uh, annoy the animal at all once it's in place. We're all busy people and it's easy to put off chores that aren't right there demanding our attention, giving us tremendous pressure. But if you think about how sad you and your household would be if you lost your beloved pet, you'll want to set aside the time to take action to keep your pet safe. Make an appointment with your veterinarian now, or at least make a note of the next microchip clinic date at Animal Control, which happens to be on the 14th. If your pet is already microchipped, please make sure that their data is up to date.